Every one of the 24 starters off and run side feature goal. Mike Ruder and Jamie Moore pacing the field from that box to quicken now. Picking it up between the turns. Bacon ready with the green as they come out of that fourth turn. It's out there. And we're underway. As Jamie Moore dashes up into the lead. Whoa, a little trouble here. Something broke. And now the 22 of Joe Hawksby. Something broke, I believe, on Den Wheeler's car. Sparks flying there and quite a traffic jam in the field behind. And uh, at least one other car stalled back there. In the pits is the 02 of Eddie Bellinger. The 96 is in, all right. And a lot of body work on the right rear of the car. We've also got the 21 up underneath the car. Hey, we'll make it over to the front straight to check on the rest of the cars as quickly as we can. But on the back straight, the crazy eight of Mike McLaughlin, definitely gonna go to the pits with rear end problems. I would have to guess he is probably done for the night. And the 21 of Dave Schulich, already tonight. And Roy reporting that Schulich probably out for the night, as is the Crazy Eight of Little Mike McLaughlin. And the yellow comes out again, once again, as everybody in their spot for the restart. And apparently the full moon took its toll. Right here. Starting to pick it up. And now let's see. Jamie picking up the pace. Joins Ruder. Side by side they come off that turn. The green is out. And Jamie Moore goes into the lead. It's Jamie Moore, and out of Johnson Logging, number two, Dean Hogue in the number two spot. Hogue running back there second as he tries to reel in. The 25 of Jamie Moore, Mike Ruder in third, Warren Codium now in fourth, Tommy Edson appears to be in trouble. He's got his hand up, coasting slowly around there. Eddie's going into the pits with a front door tavern spent. Up front it is still the 25 of Jamie Moore. But here comes the snake. Him looking for the lead. He's got a wheel down deep. Jamie Moore going wide and Tony him is through there. That last lap, 19, and the yellow is out. A car, the 07 of Timmy Nelson in the back straightaway. Timmy Nelson spinning back there. And that brings out the caution after only five laps. Bellinger's aerodynamics uh, off, that's for sure. Tim Nelson into the pits, and we're going to get a white flag still working on Steve Joya's machine. Now he's waved away, and Joya's going to hand the six of Conium, the snake, out in front. are in. The green is out as they come down between three and four. And the snake is on his way with a clear track ahead. Bentley Warren with a good move now moves into second spot. 
He set sail right behind the stakes. Warren Conium. Dean Hogue running in third spot. Timmy Nelson back out with the 07. And here is Bentley Warren. He's got a wheel underneath. The snake gets a good bite off the number two turn. They've got the 07 up ahead of them. It could mean trouble. 18-4 was the lap time as Bentley Warren trying to forge into the lead. They got it down to 18-2 as they're nerf bar to nerf bar. And the 07, Nelson in front. Let's see which way they choose. And the stake gets him on the outside. Nelson held ever so slightly. Dean Hogue running up front, Conium and Bentley Warren. 18-1, that last lap. And 18-1. That fourth turn. And Benny has got his work cut out for him. He holds it down low. 17-9, the last lap. And look at Eddie Bellinger. Eddie Bellinger working on the deuce of Dean Hall. Steve Joya in trouble. He undoubtedly will take it in. 17-9 as the pace quickens. And look at him bumper to bumper over there. Steadily coming off that turn. And now Warren trying to done Dean Hall. Bentley Warren. And the snake, Warren Conium, going at it. Bentley sliding out wide. Dean Hogue still third. Eddie Bellinger fourth. Joe Gosick fifth. And Don Ramage in that number six spot now. Bentley swung wide to the outside. He's got Warren Conium guessing. Conium still out in front. Bentley Warren right there in the number two spot. And Gentle Ben would like to sneak it underneath. But he found the door shutting on him. Over third. Smiling Eddie on his way as he got by the deuce of Dean Hole. Four lap cars coming up. Conium. And the one of Bentley Warren looking to pick their way by. They both settle into the outside groove. Warren apparently deciding to take his chances after they clear traffic. He's off the pace. Gentle Ben back in that number two spot, but he's lost some ground to the leader now. He was right there with him all the way before they came on the lap traffic. 17-6. Eddie Bellinger running third. Dean Hogue is fourth, the double zero. Joe Gosick in the number five spot. And again, traffic in front of the leaders. Bentley. But the snake with the 400 auto record special out and around that lap car of Mike Bruder. And a six. The six of Conium and the one of Bentley Warren. We have about seven cars still running in the same lap. Here's Joe Gosick now working on the deuce of Dean Hogue. Gosick trying to pick up that fourth spot. Conium in the lead over Bentley. Don Ramage is six. L past the halfway mark now and on the way home. 1766, the last lap. Anything can happen though before that checker comes down. Here's Bentley Warren. He's down underneath. 
He's got a wheel on the inside. But Bentley can't hang in there. The cars hold down tight. And Tonium charges around on the outside. 18 seconds flat here in traffic. And they clear it now. 7 that last lap. And now, again, Benny tries it down low. Bentley Warren trying to get down underneath. But again, the car is at high road as well. Bentley Warren chasing the six of Warren Conium. Smiling Eddie Bellinger offers with a full straightaway in the clear now. Coming up on the 35 lap mark. Warren right there in second spot. Eddie Bellinger still third, Joe Gosick fourth, and Dean Hogue in fifth. And they're still going to hit some lap traffic before it's over. Bentley Warren closing right in on the snake. One, two, three lap cars ahead of them. They get around Radley. Smiling Eddie Bellinger. All by himself in third. Gosick fourth. And Dean Hogue in fifth. Gentle Ben trying to reel him in here. Again, a lap of 17 8. And. Conium around on the outside. He's wasting no time. He picks his way, threads the needle. And now they're coming up on the 40th lap of this great Murphy's trackside feature. Warren Conium, the snake, in front. Five laps to go. Bentley Warren right there, second. 17-9, they've got a full three spot. Joe Gosick running fourth. Three laps to go, 17-7. As Conium really turns on the 400 Auto Wreckers special. Bentley Warren has stayed right with him, but Benny can't seem to get the punch. Two laps to go. Look at Bellinger back here all by himself in third. Joe Gosick running fourth. Dean Hogg fifth. And the white flag is out. Your leader's on their way. 1766. All right, this is it. Benny's got one last chance. And it doesn't look like he can do it. Conium, the snake, home in front. Bentley Warren is second. Eddie Bellinger is third. Joe Gosink, fourth. Dean Hogue is fifth. Oh, it was a great 45 lap feature. Johnny Teresi finishing in the number six spot. And those were the only six in the same lap as the checker came out. Here he comes out of the car. His fourth feature win, his second 45 lapper in a row, driving the Doug Duncan built 400 Auto Wreckers car. And Laurie and Dolores Murphy will be coming out to uh, salute our champion. There he is. How about a hand for him? The snake, Warren Conium, climbing out of the car, being congratulated by Dolores and Laurie. Appropriately enough, Irish Jack Murphy with the number six. And the six wins the feature here on Murphy's Trackside Night. 
Lori and Dolores out there presenting the trophy. And Roy Sova standing by. Let's go trackside. All right, thank you, Jack. The uh, trophies uh, have been presented. Two bottles of champagne and somebody wants to shake hands. Warren, I think that the only thing that can be said about your driving in traffic is unbelievable. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, there's a lot of good racers around here. My car happens to be working in traffic. You know, I, I mean, my guys did such a super job on putting it together, and uh, we got it so it'll work in traffic. And I can't take all the credit. Hell, you know, Bentley's super. Uh, Jay, you know, Dougie Heaven's great. It, it just, there's just so many of them. I, you know, Mike McLaughlin, I can't begin to name them all. But uh, my guys did a super job on putting the car back together. And that's what we're working towards, is getting it to go through traffic. All right, but the thing is, you've got to know the patterns of the other drivers out here. I mean, Bentley, outside of one time on a restart, when he got you, went right back and got him back. He was never able to really put a move on you because you always had the hole ahead of him. Well, you know, I, it's still easier to run in second spot. It's, it's awful hard to lead a race, but uh, the brakes just came my way. You know, there's a lot of guys out there you really have to watch for and give them an awful wide berth. But uh, the guys seem to be adhering to the, ra to the flags a little bit better lately, and uh, hopefully it'll continue. I'm not asking anybody to pull over and stop, but uh, just leave the racers some room. All right, now let's look at the, the year you've had so far. The last two weeks in a row, you've cleaned house. The week before that, three weeks ago, you were on your way to doing that, with, uh, deleting the feature at the time when you were involved in a crash. This is your fourth feature win of the year. Have you ever had a better year here at Oswego? I've won more features than that, sure. Um, all I can say is, you know, the car is working great. It's obviously working better than a lot of them out here. Uh, my guys just do a, a hell of a job on it. You know, I can't say enough for them. Uh, and it, it's teamwork, total teamwork. I, you know, I certainly can't take the credit for it. If the car works, I can do it. If the car doesn't work, you know, the driver can't do it. Okay, Warren, congratulations again. Good luck throughout the rest of this season. Thanks very much.